Welcome to today's Flexi webinar. Today, our presenter will be the wonderful Aaron Clapp. He is director of all training here at SAI and knows everything there is to know about Flexi. So today, he's going to be talking about the cloud window tools. Uh, there are a bunch of extra features that come with, with your Flexi software. And he'll be going through, through those and giving you some tips and tricks on how to make the most of them. And we'll have that presentation for the next um, 20 minutes to half hour. And then we'll open it up for questions. So if you do have any questions during it, just go ahead and type them into the chat window. And we will answer as many of those as we can uh, after the presentation. And we will be recording the webinar. So if you want to watch it again later or share it with someone else, we'll be recording it and posting it to our YouTube channel. And we'll send everyone who registered for the webinar a link to that recording uh, so that you can view it again at your leisure. I think that is everything. So we'll turn it over to Aaron. All right, sounds good. So I want to take a look at the uh, content that's inside of the cloud window, kind of over on the right-hand side. Um, this is uh, something that's been in Flexi for a long time, but has evolved and changed, and new tools have come in and gone uh, over the years. And so we wanted to just take a quick look on what's in here now, and, and kind of what what does each one of these do. First of all, if if you have a version of 11, 12, 19, uh, you would see this window. And it can be turned on or off by clicking this button up here at the top. Uh, if you don't want to see it and you want to use more real estate uh, for your design work, you can also go to the view menu and you can access it right here via the cloud page. Um, so what this window is, it allows us to, again, deliver uh, different content to our users and things like that that uh, would be useful to you uh, as the user. So first of all, let's just kind of work from top down and we'll go through what some of these are. We're not going to go into detail in a lot of these. Uh, most of these we have a video or something on, on our YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting more uh, detailed information, for example, on some of these, uh, like Sidekick, download uh, the Find My Font, the Sketch Tool, things like that, uh, we'll actually have uh, videos on our, our YouTube channel that address each and every one of those. So uh, with that, let's start with Addendo. So this is the new uh, option that you've probably seen here in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, we've added this into uh, your uh, cloud window. So Addendo is our new training website that we are using to help get uh, users like yourself with uh, training. So what this allows you to do is, and this is available for Enroute and for Flexi, uh, but this what, this what this allows you to do is connect with different uh, people and get training online. So it's kind of a, a different system that we've used in the past. Uh, typically, I would be doing all the training and whatnot, but now we've switched to more of a different style where we're going through Addendo, and you have access to all kinds of different people, not just SAI employees. You actually have uh, access to people in the industry. There are several people uh, that own shops that uh, are on there, and you can book some time with them and uh, work through that, uh, any issue that you have. So you can kind of look at their profiles, look at their experience, uh, and you can communicate with them and book up a time when, that would work based on their expertise. Uh, I am on there. Uh, there are several other SAI employees that are also on there. Uh, so if you're looking for training, uh, Addendo will be the new place to go. So you just sign up with an account, and then you can uh, purchase as much training as you want. So uh, you can purchase uh, as many sessions as you like, and you do that right through the, the website. Uh, everything is handled through that, the remote session. Uh, everything goes right through the website, so it makes it really easy. So if you're wondering what that is, that is our new training website where you can schedule uh, and do all that kind of thing right through Addendo. So check that out, and if you have any questions or or anything like that, let us know. Uh, but that's a good place for training. Uh, down here under our tool section, so we're gonna kind of, like I said, we'll be real brief with these because we don't have, we can't. Each one of these tools could be a half an hour webinar in and of themselves. But uh, you have your files option. So if you click on this, this will show you the last files that you've uploaded to the cloud. Uh, and you can download them. So this would be something that you've 
uh, created in Flexi, and that you've gone to the file menu and, and you've archived it to the cloud. So the available space that you have has now been upgraded uh, as of the last uh, webinar where we talked about this. I, I believe it's been upgraded from five to 20 gigabytes. So uh, you do have quite a bit of space available to you to store uh, files. What this allows you to do is if you have several licenses under the same, um, same account, uh, every user that uh, has a license under your cloud account can access the files that you've uploaded here. So it's a, it's a really good, easy way to uh, file share if you need to between different locations and things like that, but the licenses are still under the same account. So this is something you can take advantage of as well, especially now with the, with the added space, allows you to put much bigger files and things in there uh, to, for you to share between users. Let's go to reports. This is kind of similar to, it kind of ties into the files a little bit, but if you click on reports, this will kind of give you an idea of what the latest jobs uh, that you've printed on uh, most recently. So you can see here that over the last little bit, I've printed some, some test jobs and it'll show you all the things you've printed and it'll kind of give you just a job count and, and a simple little job area just to kind of have an idea of what this, this does. Now this will store this information by month and you can also go to our app, uh, you can go to our mobile app and you can check out uh, the SAI Cloud app. It allows you to uh, take a look at the score footage that you've done per month, this year, all kinds of other data, uh, as well as it also allows you to keep track of jobs. So if you're a shop owner and you're wanting to keep track of the jobs that are being printed, you can also take a look at that via your phone and make sure that the jobs that are being printed are the jobs that you had planned for that day. Uh, so that's kind of a nice little tool. Uh, now Sidekick, this is a fairly new addition within the last year. Uh, this is a tool that allows you to create, um, it's kind of like a bookkeeping, context keeping software. So when we open this up, uh, we'll just kind of take a brief look at it here real quick. Uh, here's our view. So what SideClick allows us to do is it allows us to keep track of different companies, uh, different contacts, different accounts. Uh, we can also take a look at our production line. So we can look at our job dashboard and we can see what's in production, what's finishing, what's been completed in kind of a visual way. It allows you to create quotes, invoices, uh, templates, uh, add and remove materials and stuff like that. So you can create all that within the system. Uh, it allows you to uh, uh, do that and manage your contacts uh, all, all through an online kind of uh, database. So a really useful tool. Uh, this is one of those tools that uh, you can get access to. Now you'll find that you some of these tools, if you don't see them in your cloud window, uh, some of them are to do uh, the subscription. So if you have a subscription, you should see all of these tools. Um, if you don't have a subscription, some of these tools may be omitted. So just be aware of that if you if you see some and, and others you don't. So this is a really great tool for your shop to help keep it organized. You can, you can import all of your contacts from uh, like QuickBooks in a uh, I think it's a CSV format or something like that. So it allows you to import your contacts in uh, and all that into the software. And this allows you to kind of give you a brief overview of what's going on in your shop and help manage. Uh, it's basically a, a, a management software for your shop. Uh, so you can quickly pick up quotes, find out what the where things are at in the production line, and uh, things like that to help keep you organized. Now, the artwork approval tool. This is one that we've had in our cloud for a while, but what this allows you to do is simply to create a contact between you and the customer uh, that allows you to approve artwork. So again, I'm not gonna go into super detail, but what this does is you will send an email uh, using the artwork approval tool uh, to a customer uh, after they've, say they come into your shop, they request a graphic, say, hey, can you work something up for me, you know, that looks like this for a car or for car wrap or something like that. So you say, okay, great. 
So you design something for them, and then you go to the file menu and you send it to the approval tool. What this does then is it sends the customer an email with a link and with your information, your shop information in that email, and it says, uh, click on this link so that you can take a look at the job that I just sent. So you click on the link, you go to a web page, and the customer can actually uh, approve or disapprove or make comments and say, hey, could you change this color or, or this or change the spelling on that? And then they can send it back to you. So it's a, it's a way to kind of go back and forth between the customer until you get the approval process just right. And once you've gotten the job where they want it, they can approve it, and you get email notifications on each step of the way uh, so that you can go back and forth between that customer. And what's really great is if you go into your cloud account, you can actually see the job and the different iterations for each job. So if you ever needed to go back to a previous iteration, you can just click on that file, download it, and you go right back to that file. So it's a great option to have for communicating back and forth between customers and showing them the artwork. Now, this one here uh, is also one that we really think is, is, a, is a great tool. It's the sign design elements. Now, if we click on this and go to sign design elements, I'm going to log in here real quick. When you log in, you're going to log in with the same credentials you log in to go to saicloud.com. And it's just taken a second here. But what this uh, sign design elements is, it's a site where it allows you to download uh, like royalty free images, graphics, templates, fonts, uh, things of that nature. I'm going to click on that again. Something. There it goes. We log in here. It's taking its time here. Server must be just running a little bit slow. Okay, here we go. So we got it pulled up here. So uh, by default, you'll get five free downloads a month. Now, in this case, my account is set up with, with the upgraded option. So if you're somebody who would use this a lot uh, and you Google images a lot, this is a much better alternative. All these images are very high resolution. Uh, graphics, so you don't have to worry about quality. One of the things that's really kind of a bummer about Googling something is that you never know what you're going to get. You could get something that's great, you could get something that's just terrible, and you, you never know, right? This way, you're always going to be guaranteed to get really high resolution images. You can see the resolution here on this image is 4272 by 2848. So, this is a really high res image. Now, obviously, you can download lower resolutions if you want. Uh, so we've also have different things like you can see we've got uh, um, car wrap templates. So if you're interested in that, they've got a whole series of car wrap stuff in here. They've got vectors, they've got fonts, uh, vinyl ready graphics, uh, wrap artwork. So they've got a ton of stuff on here that's that's ready to go, which is again great if you use this kind of thing a lot which i recommend that you stay away from google images just because technically you don't own those images and so if you try and use something off of there uh someone could actually come back and bite you on that and say hey you know what you don't you're not authorized to use that image uh, so that could really bite you later on down the road accidentally it's 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 happened to plenty of people and this is a really good way now uh, if you want to, like I said, there's five free a month included with your subscription. So if you have a sub, you get this for free. Uh, and then if you are someone who likes to use it a lot, then you can always upgrade. I think it's like a $15 a month for uh, an extra 100 downloads a month. So uh, it's a really good deal in terms of what you get for uh, what you pay for here. So uh, good to know that it's there, though, because even if you don't pay for the op op extra option, you can still use it five times a month to download something from the site. All right, so SAI Sketch. Now, this is an interesting tool here. So this allows you to send uh, a user a website uh, that gets you to um, – so we're going to do – see. Okay, so if I send this to myself – uh, and we pull this link up. 
just so you guys have an idea of what it looks like. Again, we have videos on how to actually go through this, but this is our SAI uh, sketch. And what this basically allows you to do is this send, you send this to a customer and say a customer maybe is not comfortable coming in due to the COVID stuff, or maybe they just want to try their hand at designing something first and then have them send it to you. This is what they can do. So this is basically a miniature designer that they can import images, shapes, background art, uh, clip art, different things, and they can insert it, they can draw, they can type up text, they can do everything they want. And then once they're done and they continue, that sends you the file inside of your cloud account. You'll actually see it in your, uh, uh, in your cloud account. You'll get an email notification saying that it's arrived and you can actually download the file in full vector format. So this is just a really great way for customers to get interact with you uh, or create something on their own where maybe they don't have a designing program. They probably haven't purchased Corel or Adobe or anything like that, but they would really like to just design something by hand uh, and then have you modify it or change it or make it better or, or just adjust it, but they want to get something, some ideas down on paper. This is a really good way to do that. So let's go back here. So that's SAI Sketch. Now, some of the other tools that you'll see here, these are a lot of these are links and different things. So for example, if you click on the SAI Cloud account, this will take you right to saicloud.com and have you log in. So this gets you right to your account. Uh, E-support uh, or get you to our e-support channel or NROT or our support channel. So it gives you the information for support. So if you need to call us or email us, this one here is kind of an underrated one, but if you're new to Flexi or have any new employees to Flexi, uh, the knowledge base. Uh, the knowledge base is great because you can pull up any information you want about Flexi. This is being updated every single day. And so here you've got videos on our YouTube channel that address different things. We have PDF guides on different things here. So you see we've got one on the artwork approval tool, color profiling. We've got more of those. Or you could just say, uh, you know, I don't know what this dither setting does. And so you could type in dither, and then you can get a definition and maybe look in job properties and see where that is. And then it'll show you uh, what dither is. So I can take a look at dither, and it shows me all the different types of dither types there are, what the advantages and disadvantages are. So really useful tool in terms of knowing how to use Flexi. Uh, again, new users, experienced users can always, if you're just not quite sure what that button does, you can search it up in the in the knowledge base. Really, really great tool. Uh, printer profiles. Now, this is going to be just a link to our printer profiles website. So if you need to download profiles from our site for your printer, you can just click on that and then put in your device and download those. This one here just gives you information about your license. So you can see what kind of license ID. So if you're calling technical support or emailing technical support and you need to just know what your ID number is real quick, you can just grab that right from here. Then if you need to make changes to your subscription, there's also a manage button here, which will allow you to manage your subscription if you need to you know, upgrade or, or do whatever you need to do on, on the manage side, change your know, payment information or whatnot. Again, this is a link to our SAI channel. This is something that I would get sub subscribed to on your on your YouTube. Uh, we have all kinds of content up on there, uh, and we're always posting new stuff. So this is just a, a quick look at our, our YouTube channel over here. And so you can see we're always posting new information and new videos for all kinds of different things. All of our webinars for Flexi and for NROUT all go on here. Um, uh, we have a new segment called Workflow Wednesday. We put that up on the YouTube channel. So anything that you see on there uh, is, is updated frequently. We're always trying to post new content for you guys for training purposes and, and other things like that. So check that out. Then there's a link for Facebook and new drivers. This is in case uh, there's new updates for your drivers. Uh, most of the time, this is not going to be uh, something you use a whole lot. But if, uh, if the driver for your machine is new, uh, and we haven't put it into the software yet. Sometimes you can download new drivers here uh, and things like that for new machines. 
And then the last one that we want to talk about here is the download the Find My Font option. Um, we have partner, partnered with the Find My Font guys. And so when you, uh, when you sign up for a cloud account, you get a free license to one copy of Find My Font. Now, when you do this, um, this is just a download link for it. So when you click on this, it'll, it'll get you to the download where you can download the software and install it. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and pull it up so you can just kind of see what that looks like. So here is the Find My Font uh, application. Again, this is developed by the Find My Font guys. So if you're interested in purchasing additional licenses, you can actually just purchase them directly from uh, the guys at Find My Font. Um, but with your cloud account, you do get one free copy that you can use and, and transfer between computers. And this software allows you to match fonts uh, and on a bitmap, a sign, or anything like that. So let's say you talk to a, pro, uh, a prospective client, you go out to see their sign, you take a picture of their, of their sign out in front of their building, you're not exactly sure what fonts that they use because it looks like they may be recreating it uh, and they don't have that old documentation anymore. Maybe it's a really old sign or they just want to reproduce it. You can click on the fonts that are in the image and it'll interpret those and find out exactly what font is used on that particular, on that particular image. So it's a really powerful tool. Uh, it can save you tons of time. I'm not, unlike, you know, there are some people who know fonts really well, and that's kind of their expertise. I am not one of them. So for me, a tool like this could literally save me hours of time trying to dig through a, a thousand fonts, just trying to figure out what the, what the closest font is. Uh, so that can save you uh, just a ton of time. The great thing is when you find a font, it searches your local computer. And then it also searches your um, uh, the internet to see which fonts are available. So if you have a font on your PC already, it'll tell you, hey, this, this one here is right off of your PC. You can just use this font. Or it looks on the internet and finds the closest match and then actually provides you a link to where you can click on it and then go and purchase that font or download it or do some more testing with it to see if you like that font or if that's really the one that you were looking for. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in, in that regard. Uh, and then I guess the last thing we'll, we'll just mention here is these are your links to your mobile apps and things like that. We do have several different mobile apps available for you on the App Store and the Google Play. Um, there's one tool that's not particularly mentioned here or doesn't have like a link uh, because it's, it's mainly a... Uh, an iPhone tool only, but it's the virtual sign app. So there's a, a, a an app called virtual sign uh, that you can download and it actually allows you to create a sign. So you can create a sign in Flexi, upload it to the cloud or send it to virtual sign. And then when you pull that up on your app, on your phone, you can use the augmented reality on your phone or the AR is what they call it and uh, on your phone and then place that sign with your camera on the building where that sign would go. So like on a door or things like that. So it kind of gives you almost like a live preview of what that sign would look like on top of their existing sign or in place of you know, an existing sign or on their window or, or something like that. So it's kind of a really cool tool. Again, we do have a video on how to use the virtual sign on our YouTube channel if you're interested in that. So that's a quick look at all the tools in Flexi, in the Flexi Cloud window. I, I hope you guys explore some of these options a little bit more. If you've never had a chance to take a look at these and never seen them, I would highly recommend that you do that. Uh, it would be worth your time. Um, we've got videos, like I said, on, on each and every one of these. And so if you're interested at all, how to use Sidekick, the ARC or approval tool, uh, the sketch tool, the download the, or the find my font tool, all of those have videos on our YouTube channel. I'd recommend that you take a look at those. Uh, they're in-depth, uh, significantly long videos, so it should get you through pretty much anything you need to know uh, on those. So uh, 
Without further ado, what other questions do we have about this or about anything regarding Flexi? Yeah, we'll open up for questions. If you do have any, please type them into the chat window there and we'll answer any of those that we have. We do have a comment by Michael that find my font is amazing. They use it quite a bit. Yeah, it's uh man, that that's a game changer, I tell you. It's uh I, I at first I didn't think so, but then I thought, man, this is kind of a weird tool. But then once I got to use it, I was like, oh my goodness. There's so much you can do. Uh, just kind of another little plug for the Find My Font. It's, it's such a worthwhile tool. If you have not clicked on it and you've not used it, you've got to use it. I mean, it'll, it'll change your world. Even if you take a picture that's slightly skewed and it's kind of like you're standing off to the side and you weren't able to get a picture from it directly in front of you, the tool has an ability for you to de-skew a sign so that you can get the correct read on the font. So way cool. So even if you take a picture from the side or if it's a big, huge billboard and you can't get up even with it and you have to take it from down below and you're looking up, doesn't matter. You can de-skew everything so that it's in the right plane so that when it does, when you click on the fonts to, to read the font, it's, it's a perfect match. So really cool, a really powerful tool. Very simple to, to use too. Uh, it, it's really, really is simple. It's it's not too hard, um, and you'll you'll get the hang of it real quick. It looks like we do have a question. Elena says, "Does it save the files automatic in cloud?" I'm not sure which tool uh, you're referring to. If you're referring to the download, find my font. It doesn't save anything into the files. No. Um, uh, if you're referring to some of the others, like the artwork approval tool, uh, and 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 things like that, yes, they will show up in your in your files. Or you can also find them under your cloud account as well. Um, if I pull up, let's see here. Uh, let's go here and let's just go to my SAI cloud account. Okay, so for example, uh, when I log into my cloud account, here's my approval jobs. So if you're using, if you're using the job approval tool, here are some, some jobs that are in here uh, from different customers. So this one's com been completed, this one's been approved, this one is pending customer feedback, so the, the customer still needs to give me feedback. You can see that when I click on this, I can download the file or I can resend it to the customer, maybe the email didn't go through or I can mark it as complete. So it kind of gives you a progress of what's going on with the job uh, and things like that. If we go back, let's click on one of these completed ones. So here's that, let's see. I was hoping that maybe this one, okay. They did uh, These particular ones that I did didn't have revisions, but if there were revisions, you would see each revision uh, right here. So you would be able to click on each one and download that specific revision. So you can also click on files and you can access all of your files right from in here. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to access them from the cloud window. You can actually get to them from your cloud account itself. So you've got all the different jobs that I've done. So we've got a, a PNG here so I can preview this. And if I want to download, I can download it. Now, this file, be aware that this file was not just a, this. In this case, it was a PNG, but there are other ones that are .fs files. So if I preview this file and I download it, it doesn't just download it as a bitmap. This is a full vector file. And so it pulls it down just like as if it was uh, a, a vector file and you can edit it and do whatever you want with it. So whatever format that it was uploaded or saved into, so you can see we've got a, a sketch that's a PDF. When I download this PDF, all these elements are vector elements. And so I can go back and edit those, change them, modify them, no, no problem. It's not just a bitmap. And so that's really great for a user uh, because then you don't have to worry about like formats and stuff like that. All right. And then we had a couple more questions. Uh, right, said so if you're working on a job in Flexi, does it save that job to the cloud or do you have to upload it? 
Uh, it doesn't automatically save it to the cloud. You would have to upload it. So if you take uh, some kind of design, you go file, and you archive it to the cloud. So it's not uh, the files tool is it can be used as temporary storage if you need to. It's not designed to store all of your files, though, for uh, all of your jobs, because um, most of the time you would probably you'd probably eat up 20 gigabytes pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, if it's something you're looking to share between employees or collaborate with, or if uh, if you just want to have it available to you uh, on the cloud, then it's a great place to store files, say, temporarily or something like that that you're going to be accessing, uh, things like that. Uh, so it's, it's a really good option for that as well. All right. And then uh, Chris said, is Find My Font similar to what font or font squirrel? I've not heard of those, but if they if they do a search, uh, if it if it basically what it does is uh, it searches a font uh, for you, then yes. Um, uh, I would take a look at the video. Uh, you can do that for free uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, I, I want to say it's probably like 20 minutes long or so. It's not terribly long, uh, 20, 30 minutes, uh, and it goes through all the things that it can do. Uh, I would definitely check it out and. It, it might be similar, uh, I suppose. I haven't actually looked at those specifically. Okay. And we do have a comment from Tim that he's having a problem with cloud storage, showing 16.63 available. When I try to upload a file, I am unable until I remove a file first. It says I've contacted tech support a couple times and just told they're working on a fix. Okay. Um... That would be interesting. Uh, it's it's got to be something on the back end or something like that. So um, we would like to maybe take a look at that and see um, and see what's going on there. Um, if you want to, my email address is uh, on file here. I think somewhere it's Aaron C at thinksai.com. If you want to send me your uh, ID number, uh, I can have someone take a look at it again and maybe escalate it a little bit and see if we can figure out what's going on. It's, it's got to be something probably either on the back end or something like that that we'll need to figure out. Um, but uh, I can bring it up to development. We can have them take a look at the back end on the account and see what's going on. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron can follow up. Make sure we get that resolved for you, Tim. In fact, I'll just put my, I'll just type my email there. So if you want to copy that and paste it into an email, you can. Uh, link in the chat there. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. If we don't have any, other questions and we'll go ahead and wrap it up for today. So I want to say thank you to Aaron for, for covering all that information about the cloud window and all the all the useful features and tools we have there. And thank you everyone for taking some time out of your Tuesday to spend it with us and learn a little bit more about Flexi. Um, we we do appreciate you coming and attending these webinar videos and and asking all these great questions. We will be having a, another Flexi webinar next month. Uh, again, it will be at 10.30. So that's our new time for the webinars on Tuesday. Our next one will be on April 6th. And let's see here. Looks like we talk about how to apply GraphTech barcode marks in Flexi. So we will send everyone a email with a link to register for that and we will be sending everyone a link to today's recording so you can review that whenever you like well, thank you again so much for attending and we hope to see you next month thanks aaron bye